Hey everyone, welcome to our hacking guide part 3. Today, we're diving into footprinting and reconnaissance, the crucial first steps in assessing a target's IT security. Footprinting unveils a blueprint of an organization's security profile, gathered systematically from its computer systems, network, and connected devices. In this module, we'll cover footprinting concepts, advanced Google hacking, web services, social networking, website, and email footprinting. We'll also explore who is DNS, network footprinting, social engineering, and introduce various tools. By the end, you'll grasp footprinting essentials, techniques, and best practices. Let's get started. In this phase, attackers prepare by gathering as much information as possible. This helps them identify potential weaknesses and find ways to break into the target network more easily. Let's dive into the different types of footprinting. Footprinting can be categorized into passive footprinting and active footprinting. Passive footprinting. Passive footprinting is all about collecting information without direct interaction with the target. It's handy when you want to gather details without tipping off the target. However, it's technically challenging since it doesn't involve sending active traffic to the target. Instead, we rely on sources like search engines and social networking sites to extract archived information. Active footprinting. On the flip side, active footprinting requires direct interaction with the target. This means the target might notice the ongoing information gathering process as we openly engage with their network. Active footprinting demands more preparation than passive as it carries the risk of leaving traces that could alert the target organization. Alright, now that we've covered the essentials of footprinting, let's dive deeper into the specifics of the information we're after. First up we got organization information. The information about an organization is available from its website. In addition, you can query the target's domain name against the Whois database and obtain valuable information. The information collected includes employee details like employee names, contact addresses, designations, and work experience, addresses in mobile, telephone numbers, branch and location details, partners of the organization, web links to other company-related sites, background of the organization, web technologies, news articles, press releases, and related documents legal documents related to the organization, patents and trademarks related to the organization, and more. Attackers can access organizational information and use such information to identify key personnel and launch social engineering attacks to extract sensitive data about the entity. The second is network information. You can gather network information by performing who is database analysis, trace routing, and so on. The information collected includes domain and subdomains, network blocks, network topology, trusted routers, and firewalls, IP addresses of the reachable systems, who is records and DNS records and related information. Finally, we got system information. You can gather system information by performing network footprinting, DNS footprinting, website footprinting, email footprinting, and so on. The information collected includes web server operating system, location of web servers, publicly available email addresses, usernames, passwords, and so on. Now let's uncover the threats posed by footprinting. Social engineering. Hackers use persuasion to collect information directly or indirectly, exploiting the trust of unaware employees. System and network attacks. Footprinting empowers attackers with insights into system configurations, operating systems, and vulnerabilities. This information allows them to seize control of a system or the entire network. Information leakage. When sensitive data falls into the wrong hands, attackers can exploit it for various purposes, posing a serious threat to organizations. Privacy loss. Through footprinting, hackers can access and compromise organizational systems, resulting in a loss of privacy for both the organization and its personnel. Corporate espionage. Competitors may use footprinting to acquire sensitive data, allowing them to launch similar products, manipulate prices, and undermine a target organization's market position. Business loss. Organizations, especially online businesses and financial entities, face significant financial losses due to malicious attacks facilitated by footprinting. Billions of dollars are lost annually to hacker-driven cyber threats. Now, let's delve into some practical footprinting. Footprinting using advanced Google hacking techniques. Google hacking involves utilizing advanced search operators to craft intricate queries, extracting sensitive or hidden information. In our previous video, we covered Google hacking basics, so feel free to skip this section if you're familiar. 
Here, we'll use advanced Google hacking techniques to pinpoint specific text strings within search results. This art of creating complex search queries allows attackers to retrieve valuable data about a target company from Google search results. By leveraging the Google hacking database and advanced operators, attackers identify vulnerable websites. These operators assist in locating specific text strings, such as versions of vulnerable web applications, while avoiding irrelevant data. Remember, when using advanced search operators, follow this syntax operator two column search term. Avoid spaces between the operator and the query for optimal results. Now, let's explore some commonly used Google advanced search operators. Site. Think of it like pointing a spotlight. This operator hones in on a specific website, perfect for targeted domain searches. For example, site youtube.com. In title. Imagine this is your detective badge, it helps you find pages with specific words or phrases right in the title. Super handy for zeroing in on relevant content. For example, in title, hacker. File type. Meet your document sniffer, this operator filters results to a specific file type, like PDF, ideal when you're on the hunt for specific formats. For example, hacking file type, PDF. In URL, it's like having a treasure map. This operator looks for pages with specific words or phrases in the URL, guiding you to web pages with pinpoint accuracy. For example, in URL, login. Cache, picture this as your time machine. It reveals the cached version of a web page, letting you see it as Google did during its last crawl. For example, cache google.com. Info, say hello to your data hub. This operator spills the beans on a web page, offering details like the site's cache, similar sites, and more. For example, info.example.com. Define. It's your instant dictionary. This operator quickly defines a word or phrase, perfect for decoding tech jargon on the fly. For example, define cybersecurity. Asterisk. Think of it as your search wildcard. It helps you find pages with all sorts of variations of a specific keyword, making your searches dynamic. For example, hack asterisk site. Quotation marks. This is your precision tool. It searches for an exact match of the enclosed phrase, ensuring results with the specific sequence of words you're after. For example, in quotation mark hacking. These operators provide powerful ways to refine your Google searches and obtain more accurate and relevant results. By crafting advanced search queries, they pinpoint vulnerable websites and gather sensitive information like passwords and network data. This enables various attacks, compromising information security. We can potentially find sensitive information about a target organization and its employees. Attackers often use this gathered info for social engineering attacks. Google Hacking Database Source The Google Hacking Database is a powerful resource. It serves as a comprehensive guide for leveraging Google's search engine capabilities. Inside Google Hacking Database, you'll discover search terms targeting files with usernames, vulnerable servers, and even files containing passwords. The Exploit Database is a CVE-compliant archive featuring public exploits and corresponding vulnerable software. It's designed for penetration testers and vulnerability researchers. By using Google Hacking Database dorks, attackers can swiftly pinpoint publicly available exploits and vulnerabilities within a target organization's infrastructure. Google dorks, integrated into advanced search operators, help extract sensitive information like vulnerable servers, error messages, sensitive files, login pages, and more. Google Hacking Database categories include Footholds Files containing juicy info Files containing usernames Files containing passwords sensitive directories, sensitive online shopping info, web server detection, network or vulnerability data and more. Uncovering a company's top-level domains and subdomains. A company's top-level domains and subdomains hold valuable information for potential attackers. The public website serves as a window into the organization's online presence, showcasing details like organizational history, services, products, and contact info intended for public access. To find the target organization's external URL, search engines like Google and Bing come in handy. The external URL is accessible to the public, providing insights into the organization's public face. 
On the other hand, subdomains are more restricted, often accessible only to specific individuals like employees or department members. Web administrators might use subdomains for testing new technologies before deploying them on the main website. Since these subdomains are often in a testing stage and insecure, they become potential targets for exploitation. Identifying subdomains can unveil critical information about the target, such as the website's source code and documents on the web server. Access restrictions based on IP addresses, domains, subnets, usernames, and passwords may apply to subdomains. They provide access to private functions within an organization. Hackers can exploit the common formats used for subdomains by employing trial and error or leveraging services like Netcraft. This knowledge, coupled with the external URL, allows attackers to potentially discover and exploit vulnerabilities within a target organization. Now let's talk about some tools that attackers use to dig deep into a company's subdomains, uncovering valuable information for potential exploits. First up, we have Netcraft. It's not just your average service. Netcraft provides a range of internet security services, from anti-fraud to anti-phishing. What's more, it dives into market share analysis of web servers, operating systems, hosting providers, and SSL certificate authorities. Attackers can leverage Netcraft to get the lowdown on all the subdomains tied to a target domain. Next in line is Sublister, a nifty Python script designed for the OSINT game. This tool allows attackers to enumerate subdomains across multiple sources simultaneously. It's a powerhouse for penetration testers and bug hunters, pulling data from search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, Beidou, and Ask. It doesn't stop there, Sublister also taps into Netcraft, VirusTotal, ThreatCrowd, DNS Dumpster, and Reverse DNS. The syntax is on the screen if you want to give it a spin. Last but not least, we've got Pentis Tools Find Subdomains. This online tool is like a treasure trove for attackers. It helps them discover subdomains, their IP addresses, network details, and even information about HTTP servers. You can see attackers searching for subdomains related to Google.com, uncovering critical intel about the target company's domain. These tools are like a peek into the secret corridors of a company's online presence. They equip attackers with valuable insights, making it crucial for organizations to fortify their defenses. Stay tuned for more insights in our cybersecurity series, we're just scratching the surface. Alright, folks, that wraps up our exploration for today. Thanks a bunch for tuning in. But hold tight because we're not done yet, we've got a part 2 coming your way. Tomorrow, we're diving into the world of reconnaissance and footprinting. So, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join us again for more insights into the fascinating realm of cybersecurity. Until then, stay curious and stay secure. See you in the next one. Talking about blows, I've been changing, ain't talking about charges, I'm facing these niggas, be feds in the making. Black is the leather, my bands, coking the color, my bands, making the soda, my bread, water the whip on my dread. Remember that I hit a lid, 500 dollars, it didn't make sense. Y'all, my mix potions, a kitchen.